Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDC family. We are live, live in the building. Where we at? Where we at? So I got this right there. Okay. I had to move my mount yesterday. So it might be a little bit off here. Let me try to adjust it. Come on. Come on, baby. A little better. Let's see if I can get that right. Get my chat up over here. Over here. Get a little chatty chat going on. Rapid Nismo in the house. Is that Jay? Yes, it is. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday to Rapid Nismo. Happy birthday all the way in the UK. So it's at like 1030 there right now. Earthquake. <laughs> yeah, I had to move my mount yesterday and because my brother was raffling off something on Facebook. So he had to use it. And I had to move the thing. And it's like a bendy mount. It's not one of those adjustable Who's the majiggies, right? So it's a little off. Is the camera in where it needs to be? That's the question. Is the camera where it needs to be? You let me know, brother. You let me know. <clears throat> Boom. Mr. Hewitt's. Mr. Hewitt sent me a couple of these. And we are going to start working on a few of these um, because I have to make one as a Christmas gift for Devil's Detail Diecast, this guy. But I got a mail call. I got some fines. That would be better if it were a juke. <laughs> no juking over here. No juking over here. <laughs> see if we can get a couple people in here i know it's saturday everybody's just chilling out probably or out and about with the families and all that good stuff found some cars the other day found some cars i guess i'll show some of that i got a few more of these got a few more of these c10s these are gonna do good on the customs uh, I just finished one up, actually, for SRS Diecast that we we traded. He sent me that Super of the Chevelle, and he wanted a custom, so I finished that up. He doesn't want to see it. He wants me to send it out to him, but I picked up a few of these. Mile High Racing in the house. What's up, brother? The deco, the deco looks, the deco looks sweet on that C10. Yeah, man, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. It's actually one of two that I actually have. The other one I got from Cuda. Um, and it's a loose. It's a Lucy. Dean Self, what's up, brother? Happy birthday, Rapid. This is the only other deco I have of that truck. And it's a Lucy. It's in pretty good shape. It's got a couple little scratches, but um nice truck that is a nice truck <clears throat> how do i pin a comment how do i pin a comment here uh happy birthday rapid love the christmas trees yeah man i had to get in the christmas season <laughs> pin message bada bing there you go rapid you are the star of the man. The star of the show, my man. So I got I got two of these C tens. I got a few of these. I, I walked into Walmart to get something else, and um, they just happened to drop the Q case. I guess um, somebody had already got to it. So I got one of these Hot Birds. I think that makes two or three of these I have because I do want to customize a few. Um, I got a Nissan Skyline, the Skyline 2000 GTR. 
All right? That's just a really cool car. Old school skyline. I think it's supposed to have the mirrors up up here on the front of the hood, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is the car that's got the mirrors, like, up front. Like, the old, yeah, right there. Boom. In the picture. So, it's in the picture, but it's not on the casting. So, if I do something with that, maybe I'll add them on. Right? Then I got the Porsche 933 GT2 in white, uh, which the previous release was red. I think the black and red stripe at the bottom really sets this thing off. And then it's got the black stripe with the red uh, background there on there. So that's that. I think the white looks better than the red. That's just my opinion. No Q case or any 22 in my area whatsoever. Um, oh, snap. Rapids 12 now. Andre Cruz in the house. What's up, brother? Rapids 12 now. <laughs> And then I got another one of these skylines, so I will be doing doing something with with one of these. Let's see which one is in worse shape. Um, they both look pretty good. Andres, do you want to slap? You're gonna have to reach pretty far to get that one. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this one's got a ding on the back, so we're going to crack it. We are going to crack it. Red Eye 247 in the house. What's up, brother? So we cracked it. Look at that thing, huh? Nice old school skyline. They didn't do the headlights, but they did do some decals on the back. It's got the Hot Wheels tampo down here, skyline on the rear. The rear marker lights are done. And then it's got that GTR on the back and a little bit of taillight detail. I don't know if you guys can see that. Really nicely done car, though. I think they got the, the shape of it right. And a lot of these cars, they don't. But I like it. It's cool. We'll do something with that, right? Get rid of that. Chuck that sucker over there. We got the 67 Chevelle. Hewitt's Hot Wheels in the house. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, baby. <laughs> we got the 67 Chevelle in yellow. Um, I picked up the blue one a while back. I think, actually, James sent me one, too. If I'm not mistaken, I think he did send me one. This one's missing the S there. Oh, no, it isn't. It's just in white. That's weird. Can you guys see that? The S is in white. The rest of it's in gray. Which is kind of weird for them to do. I don't know. Huh. It's got the uh, Chevy emblem up here. Which I'm pretty sure they use the, that on the Corvette. Um, Moving forward. With the red and the black flag. The checker flag and the red flag. Pretty sure that's a vet thing, isn't it? So I'm not sure... I don't know what this Osley's is all about. Maybe that's got something to do with that. I don't know. If anybody got something to say about it, let me know. Let me know down in the comments, in the comment section. Eddie from Simple Customs, I'm in your face. Hi, Amanda. Your mo Monster Ferrari is almost done. I got to watch how loud I say that because she doesn't want to know nothing about it until it's here, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie says hi. Amanda says hi, Eddie. <laughs> Andrew's in the house. What's up, brother? Maple Leaf Customs in effect. What is happening? Too many small name. Too many names spell red eye. <laughs> uh, peace to everybody. Officially taking today's live stream as mine. Rapid birthday live. It is pinned up there. It's pinned up top. Happy birthday to Rapid Nismo. Um. Andrew, I hope that package shows up, man. So for anybody that doesn't know, I sent the package to Andrew on the 12th of last month, right? It shipped out of New York on the 16th, and then it went rogue. It went missing all the way to Switzerland. It's supposed to be going to Germany, right? It went missing. We didn't know what was going on, and then all of a sudden last week, uh, the beginning of this week, it pops up in Poland. 
I don't know what's going on with this thing. It, it grew legs, you know? So now it goes over to Germany. I'm getting updates. It goes through customs. Andrew says, I got a pickup notification. So I'm thinking it's all good, right? I start getting more notifications. This thing is still moving in Germany. I'm like, what is going on here? And now it's giving me updates that it r arrived at a facility, but no name. No name on the facility. So... It, that it went to like two or three different facilities. I'm hoping that the next notification is arrived for pickup, um, because that was a pretty pretty decent package, and you know some of that stuff is irreplaceable. I just want to make sure it gets there. You know, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Andrew's got his fingers crossed. <laughs> I think that flag symbol should be the cu cubic inch of the car. On those old muscle cars. Okay, that's cool. Better be ready. Golden Girls Marathon on TBS. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> For some reason, my package from Hewitt's was in Denmark today. Wow. Got to be getting close now. Yeah, I hope so, man. I really do. I just wish they would tell you which facility it showed up at, right? I know a guy could have gotten into Germany in three days. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, he's in the chat right now. <laughs> that paint you have in the background with the apple picture, is that any good? The apple barrel? We're going to get to that. That's 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 the secret sauce to everything that I do. Um, NASCAR guys in the house. What's up, brother? So I'm just going through a couple finds until we get a couple of people in here, and then I'll show you guys some stuff, right? Got another one of these hot birds. That's why I said there was like two or three, because I picked up two of them, because I want to do something with these. These are really cool. Smokey and the Bandit car right there, right? We got the 68 Barracuda S in green, my favorite color. I think it's going to stay green. I'll probably leave the tampos on this, but um, I want to do something with that, probably dirty it up do a gas lands on it maybe not sure and then we found the yellow supra i think this yellow supra looks way better than the white one just my opinion i think the yellow pops something about mattel's yellow that that really does it for me um this thing needs some detailing on the rear though they did the headlights I think they nailed it on the, the body lines on this car, but the taillights need to be done. Uh, that's just a whole blank blank canvas back there, a real miss on their part as far as I'm concerned. Neil Count, Neil Cummings in the house. Gary, Shorter's Diecast, Mad Eye Miniatures. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the stream. Happy Saturday weekend. Happy holidays. I put the trees out. It's snowing over here. We got our first uh, first bit of snow the other day here on New York. Um, can't say that I'm excited about it. <laughs> can't say that I'm excited about it, right? Uh, we got the Dodge Rampage in black. The main reason why I bought this is because I only had the, one, the red one. I have one of those, and I need these trikes out of it. So I'm going to take the trikes off. We're going to make these into bike vehicles for Gaslands. Um... That's a thing. The, the It's a class in Gaslands, right, for motorcycles. So we're going to do that. We're going to take the, the trikes off of there. We're going to make some bikes. And then I got the 67 GTO convertible. Came across this, uh, this convertible set. There was only three or four cars. I only grabbed these two. I grabbed two of these GTOs so I could basically make something happen with them, right? One of them will probably stay stock. The other one I'll do a custom on because um, the, the 65 to 67 GTO is my favorite car, you know, in real life. Uh, the 66 is really sick. And uh, <clears throat> Derek from Honest Diecast just did a custom on that for Andre Cruz, which is, boy, when I tell you that thing is mint. He did the Summit Racing deal. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, we got Neil. Gary saying what's up to Neil. Neil, Gary go to sleep by Andre. 
hit a fi- high of 55 degrees and it's still warm. Um, Red Eye, you're down in Texas, right? Boy, oh boy, man. Everybody keep everybody from uh, Kansas and Kentucky in your prayers and in your thoughts, man. I, I saw the tornado wiped out like four states. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I hope I hope that we didn't know anybody that was uh not that it makes that anything right, but I hope nobody in the community was affected by that. Um can't do that, Andre more at work until ten. So I mean you could Gary, you could go to sleep at work, but they might not like it too much. <laughs> it's almost ten at night here. Okay. Mad Eye, where are you again? You're over uh in Europe somewhere. I'm not sure exactly. Rainy and 36. Yeah, it was 38 degrees here last night. Sold it on eBay this morning for 10K. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Ireland. Okay, okay. Um, And then I grabbed these up. I hadn't found these this truck, the 49 Ford. It's not the Super, and I don't care, because I think the regular one is, is just as cool. The paint job on that thing is sick with the metallic flake in there. So um, they need a wheel swap. They definitely need a wheel swap, and uh, we'll do something. I know that it's not possible for me to do something with all these cars, but I do. I buy these cars because I like to. You know, it's my addiction. I like doing it, and you know, it is what it is. I do need to settle down. Um, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> Fifty-two Chevy with those ghost flames, the uh, rusted look to it. It's not rusty enough for me, but it's definitely a base. It's definitely a base to do something with that 52 Chevy, right? Boom, boom, boom. I got the... uh, Walked into Target last night on my way home. And this is always the car that's missing out of the set. I don't know why between this and this this truck right here. the, uh, The Flying Customs version of the C10. Never in the um, never in the package. I walk into Target over here the other day, and a brand new case is out. A brand new case of the Flying Customs, right? You got one of these minis, uh, duplicates of the Torino, the Mustang, the Boulevard Bruiser, the Vega. There was like four of these. Uh, one of these caddies, and then the C10 and the 180SX gone. None of them. The case was literally just put out, right? So I don't know if it's somebody that is working there or if it's, you know, somebody was waiting there when the case went out and they took all the the all these because this is what people want on eBay or whatever, man. But it, it got me a little upset because this is the one I wanted and the C10 and they didn't have the C10. So, you know, what are you going to do? I guess that's part of the part of the deal. You know, James talks about it all the time. And it is frustrating, man. And I'm I'm not a hunter like that. But when I do walk in and I see a case with certain cars that I want, I really wish that somebody wasn't scalping them. One second, guys. Amanda's here. Hey. He was a little upset about that. I wasn't just upset about that. We're not going to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bunch of people in here. That S13 is... Jizzy freaking beautiful. I don't know what that means, Rapid. I don't know what that means, but I'm not going to get into detail either. I don't Whose know. Birthday is it? It's Rapid's birthday. Happy birthday, Rapid. Andre said he's now 12 years old. <laughs> 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 yep, those two are missing from the Flying Custom set, too. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think this is the one that. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, working, haven't seen the Flying Customs in years, Canada Tire, had them, sweet set, happy birthday, Rapid, ba 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 I'm, Andrew says hi. Hi, Andrew. Never gonna get rid of the scalpers, unfortunately. Yeah, it's frustrating, but what are you gonna do? Hey, Neil. Amanda's here, guys. Amanda's here. Oh, tree's falling over. That tornado's coming through New York. Watch out. Santa's coming, too. Santa is coming. Is right now? Right here. So, guys, what we what they do around here, where where I just moved to last year, um, the uh the 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 the, the fire department 
does like a parade around the the around the communities and they got Santa out there with a megaphone saying ho 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 hey 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 yada 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 right so if by chance um they come by the house I'll take the phone out there and show you guys the parade if you want um king nut in the house what's up brother what is happening over there um i still haven't got your custom man i don't know if that's like uh i don't want to say the word but i hope it's still on the way um check the tracking bro because i didn't get a tracking number from you i don't think so um just let me know let me know what's going on with that Hopefully it shows up Monday because I don't think uh, I don't think uh, USPS is delivering tomorrow. So Santa Claus is saying, "Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back." <laughs> yeah, man, our fire department does that too. People put chairs to reserve their spot on the street. Yeah, but it's not on around like in my town, Andre. They, it's not like a parade. They just ride around the neighborhoods, right? So they actually come right by the house. You don't even have to go outside, which is cool. It's in Poland. No. <laughs> oh, man. Everything's in Poland, I, I swear. Um, so I got a, I got a mail call here from, from uh, I got a mail call here from Mike's Mods and Customs. He told me he was sending in a, a few, a few things that I was looking for the Chevelles, right? Um, don't mind the background noise, guys. We got, a, we got a couple loose Chevelles. He said that he didn't have them, but he sent me a message saying, hey, man, do you need these? And I was like, you know, I could always use them. You know, I always want more Chevelles, right? And he was, I was like, if you got them, you know, what do you want for them? I'll trade you something. And he basically said, I don't have them, but I can get my hands on them. And I was like, no, 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 don't go buying them, man. Um, he said it was a couple a couple collector friends of his, though. I mailed it late. It officially went out Friday. Soccer is taking up a lot of my time right now. Okay, so it just went out yesterday. Cool, man. No no issues. I just uh, I was a little worried that it might have ended up walking somewhere, you know, taking a vacation or whatever. <laughs> So let me get this open for you guys. Use guys over there. Let me get this open for you guys over there. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Later, Gary. Appreciate you stopping by, brother. Andy McLeish. What the bloody is it doing in Poland? <laughs> I don't know. Jay, Jay, what's up, Andy? What's happening, man? I don't know what it's doing in Poland. It's not really, but the package I sent to Switzerland ended up in Poland. So, I don't know. What the heck did he tape this thing from the inside? All right, I just mutilated this box, so it's not coming back. But um, Mike's Mods and Customs sent this out. Let me just open it over here off camera, make sure there's nothing crazy going on here. We got a note. We got a note. Jay, here you are, my friend. 270 Chevelles. To add to the collection, please do not feel you owe me anything. I traded a couple JDM cars to a friend for these. Mike, Mike's Mods and Customs. Greatly appreciate you, brother. Greatly appreciate you. If you guys haven't seen Mike's Mods and Customs, you need to go check him out. The man is doing great work. And he's just a great guy. He does things like this, you know, like sending out cars for no reason at all, just because he knew I was going to appreciate him. He made a trade to secure these things. Who does that, man? Everybody in this community does. That's the answer to that. You guys are the best. I will say that. You guys are the best. Da -da 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 -da. Don't say yesterday, say Friday. Sounds like it was longer ago. <laughs> No, it's cool, man. I'm actually glad that it was uh, Friday um, because that means that it, it couldn't have went too far out of the way, right? Full custom diecast garage in the house. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, brother? Um, 
Full Custom is a great dude, too. He's Not only is he making an entry for Pinks, which is coming up, guys, um, he's actually sponsoring the competition by, by 3D printing a trophy, and um, and that's going to go to the winner of the whole Sweet 16 deal, I'm pretty sure. That's how that's going to go. Um, so I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you on that. Not much day, just chilling out tonight. Thought I'd check in and see what's happening. Andy, if if I'm not mistaken, did I meet you in um in 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 that live stream yesterday? I think your name looks familiar from there, I'm pretty sure. Uh 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 what is his name? Ah I'm drawing a blank. King Nut, my brother. Reminds me of a joke. A time of a time joke. What is the time? Friday. Is that the best you can do? There's numbers after that, but they could mean anything. I don't get it. <laughs> Festa 67. That's right. Festa was having a live. I jumped in over there. Andy was a good guy. We were going back and forth a little bit. So, boom. Here we go. The Golf Livery 70 Chevy Chevelle. And it looks pretty mint, man. It looks pretty mint. I do have one. It's on the card. The card is banged up because it was taped and glued. It was taped and glued together. So now I got a loose one. And if I ever do decide to uh, try to collect a carded version and a loose version, I'm probably going to have to find another carded version for that because it's in bad shape. But... That's awesome. That is awesome. Red Dwarf Gag. Hewitt's gets it. There you go. <laughs> wow, that's some pretty metal. Yeah, man. This is a nice looking car. I'm not a huge golf livery guy. I don't really love that baby blue, but um, that's a nice looking car. And I believe it's the first release, too. So... Now, this one here, I traded Red Eye 247 for the carded version. This is the Target Red Edition of the 70 Chevelle. The Target Red Edition of the 70 Chevy Chevelle race car. This one's a little rougher. It's got, it's got some banged up tampo on the hood there. The roof is scratched. The roof is scratched, and the wing is a little chewed up in the back. But... You know what? That might make me do something to this car. Whoa, not drop it. <laughs> that might make me do something to this car just because it's a little in it's in a little rough shape. So, I don't know. We'll see. I know it's the red edition and people are going to be like, "Oh man, you shouldn't do that." I'll see the wheels bent over here. This thing's banged up good. Some kid had its fun. You see that, guys? The wheel is jacked. Holy moly. He's got it flat and tried to ride it out. Ended up spinning around, slapping the wall, chipping the paint. So that's that. Thank you to Mike's Mods and Customs, man. You did not have to do that. And you traded away something to get these cars. So for you to tell me that I should not feel like I owe you anything, um, you know me better than that, buddy. You know, you know me better than that. Something's coming your way eventually. And um, I apologize, man. I know I told a couple people I was sending some stuff out, and then nothing went out. Nothing went out. I've been busy, guys, you know. I feel bad when I do that, though, because I'm the type of person, if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it, right? And, uh, you know, just life gets in the way sometimes. Uh, my son found a red version today at a meet. This one or the Toys R Us, bro? The red one, the full red one. Because if the red one is is the one, um, I'm I'm uh man, I'll be trying to work something out with you big time for that. No problem. I'll be sending it out here as soon as I get my custom done for pinks. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Okay, my brain is now making crate hemi vroom vroom noises. <laughs> Rapido was lurking. Rapido was lurking. So many Gaslands possibilities on the desk. Funny that you say that. 
Because this one, this one is going to happen. That one's going to happen. And this one's going to end up gassed up too. That's going to be for my personal collection. This is a Christmas present going to Devil's Detail Diecast in a round robin Christmas gift kind of thing that we did. Um, I did a mock. I did a mock. <laughs> Gallon guns and rockets, oh my. Uh, came out of the package like that. Wow. No, 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 no. Red, uh, Red Eye, this is not the one you sent me. This isn't the one you sent me. I still have the carded one that you sent me. <clears throat> this is this is the, the, the one you sent me, buddy. All right? That's the one that's that I just got from Mike's mods and it's jacked up. So this one's mint, man. The card's a little a little bent, but you know what are you gonna do? Um for what it is, I'm happy, man. He just told me it was red. Alright. Red eye. If you could get a picture of that car and let me know if it's if it's fully red. Well, there's actually two other red ones. So if you get a picture of the car, send it to me, man, and let me know if it's tradable. And um, and if it if it's the one I'm looking for, I'll definitely try to work something out with you, man, for sure. Because that's the one that I'm looking for, and I can't I can't find it. So, um, <clears throat> poor Chevelle. Yeah, uh, you know what? Rapid it 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 landed in the right place to be in bad shape. So. Um, I don't know that I'll gas land it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You know, I'm going to keep the options open on this car. We'll see. I know it's a Target Red Edition and, you know, whatever, but I'm going to do what, it, what I want to do with it, right? Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. I'm not sure I'll see when I get it. Okay. He told me it was red. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So we got the Nissan over here. We'll do something with that. This this thing was just for comparison. So who asked me about the apple barrel paints? Um, somebody asked me to go over what I use for my weathering stuff, right? Which I've done already, but I'll, I'll say I'll show it again, um, just so you guys can get a base knowledge of, you know, the weathering that I do, right? And it's kind of in a step-by-step -step process. So first thing I do is I'll scuff the paint if I'm going to keep the tampo job that's on it. I'll scuff the paint. Well, you take the car apart, obviously. You scuff the paint. You leave the tampos that you want. Or you strip it down. You prime it. You paint it. Right? Then I usually go over it with a wash. These are Citadel paints. They're made by Games Workshop. You can make washes yourself. You don't have to buy these premium ones. Um, I actually just bought these when I started, not knowing any better, right? So I ended up with these. I always go over it with a wash to give it a, a darker texture, you know, something to stick to, right? Even though the sand, the sand scuffs it up a bit, the sandpaper, right? And then I'll go in with um, Typhus Corrosion. And it's usually not to give it the the color that's in here, but more of the texture. You can also use super glue and baking soda to uh, to texture it, right? Let that dry. And then I'll use Rise of Rust very lightly, dry brushing. Or I'll mix it with some water, make it a slurry, and go in with a really small toothpick or a small brush and make, like, uh, drip marks and stuff like that. Um... Abaddon Black is good to touch up um, missed spaces. And then I use Iron Breaker and, um, and uh, Lead Belcher, which is another one I got over here. I got Blood for the Blood Guns. And yeah, Lead Belcher is what I use on like all my metal stuff usually if I don't want to use a marker. Um, and Iron Breaker is just a lighter version of that, right? 
So that's that. You touch up your exhaust pipes and stuff like that. Abaddon Black just fills in like dark spaces if you need it. Um, this is Blood for the Blood Gods. I had bought this when I was doing my one project last Christmas, and I needed to add that effect. Um, <clears throat> it's a good touch. It's a good touch if you want to add some gore to it, right? So that's that. Um, and then after I get my base done, I go in with burnt umber, apple barrel burnt umber, right? Stippling with a brush. I can also go in with, uh, da, 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 where is it? Where is it? This one and this one. Um, apricot and flamenco red, right? Um, a little bit less of each. So you go in with the burnt, burnt umber or the melted chocolate, um, and then you stipple in a little bit of apricot, spreading it out, and then you lightly go in with the red, right? Because you rust has all different con colors, right? And um, you want it to be dispersed. So then after that, once that dries, you go in with another wash. You want to you want to blend this together. You don't want anything to stick out, right? So you go back in with a wash. You can either break it up with a brown or a black, depending on which way you want to go with it. You know, the black is going to make it darker, really pronounce the um the the inner lines between fenders and hoods and doors and stuff like that. Um and the brown is going to give it more of the weathered effect, which which a lot of the times that's what I'm going for. So that's that. I'll wait for that to dry. <clears throat> and then I love to go in and make it look like it ran through the dirt, right? So when, when doing that, I'll dry brush chestnut, usually chestnut as a dry brush base that would act like dried up mud. Um, and another step you can take is the Sterling Battlemire. This stuff is really, really thick. And it's meant to make it's meant to look like mud. I don't know if you could see in there. It's basically mud. Right? So you put that in there and let that dry up, and that's mud itself. Um the chestnut looks like dried up dirt. I I'll put that on the tires, the underside always coming up off the tires, like however it would, would be in a realistic situation, right? And then I'll dry brush over that with uh, with the light mocha to make it look like a sand effect that came from the front. You know, if you're running through the desert, um, the dust is going to kick up off the wheels and it's going to come up over the hood and kind of taper back. Right. So it's going to hit the hood heavily in the front and kind of lean off as the as the the hood goes back towards the windshield. And then it's going to catch on the A pillars and the top of the windshield, because, you know, you're running through the dirt, it, it'll collect there, right? So that's that. That's basically one, two, three, how I do my work. And then I'll usually clear it with uh, Rust-Oleum two times. Rust-Oleum two times clear, matte clear, right? Um, I'll clear it with this two or three coats just to seal it. <clears throat> And then I'll go in with these weathering powders. Now, you can crush up pastels. You can do a lot of different other things to, uh, to, to, to get the effect. But I happened to win a giveaway that gave me like a $50 gift card. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a few of these, you know. Um, this one is snow, soot, and rust, right? This one I recently picked up. It's gunmetal, silver, and orange rust just because I wanted to see what it would do. Um, and then this one is the one I use the most. Sand, light sand, and mud. So, you know, going over it with these weathering powders really makes a difference. From from where, where it was after I did my whole thing to adding in these powders, it, it really, like, turns the page on making a custom look realistic, you know? <clears throat> so basically that's, that's that. Um, I am way behind in the chat. 
Nah, just wheel swapper, maybe big rubber in the back and dolly in the front. Yeah, nah, probably not. If I do it, I'm going to do it straight up because it's the race version. It's already dropped to the ground, so um, it's got to be the same size, right? Check out the Army Painter paints, too. The Strong Tone and Dark Tone washes are good. They're also bringing out speed paint and such. So that sounds cool. Um, I do have an army painter. I have this right here. Uh, Gunmetal by Army Painter. Just because I wanted to try a different metallic paint uh, for like exhaust and stuff. And this worked pretty good. I used it once or twice. Um, and then I forgot I even had it. So I'm glad you just said that. Because I'll add that to the repertoire. Um, it's good to have other things in the arsenal, right? Um, and I'll have to try, check out their washes for sure and these speed paints that you talk about. I'll get on to the Ferrari you sent, Jay's. Weather is bad. Nah, it's all good, Rapid. Take your time, man. Um, not advertising at all. No, no, no. Not at all, man. I appreciate the tips on that because I probably wouldn't have looked at Army Painters' uh, washes or speed paints because I'm pretty pretty set in my ways as far as the 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 uh technique that i came up with right the combination of all these different paints right nice tip on that well gotta go all you diecast collectors have a great weekend later jdc i'll get back to you on that car peace out man later red eye i appreciate you brother i appreciate you getting uh getting back to me on that for sure if it is the uh the one that i'm looking for man we'll We'll definitely work something out if you're willing to trade it, you know. Uh, can't believe how good that Ferrari you made looks. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, Rapid. I'm glad you like it. I'm definitely glad you like it. If you guys don't know what he's talking about, he won my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and it was a Ferrari 333 or 512M. It's the red one with the opening rear uh, engine back there. Uh, Mike's Mods and Customs. What's up, brother? I just unboxed the Chevelles that you sent me. Really appreciate you, man. Um, and doesn't mean I'm going to listen to what you said in your note. <laughs> um, you made a trade to get these things. It's in my blood to want to reciprocate that, right? So, um I owe you one. I, you can say I don't, but when you're looking for something, let me know what it is, and if I got it, it's yours. Deal? Deal. Right? Uh, da, 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 da. So that's that. You, how much I love patina. You know how much I love patina. Yeah, man, me too. <laughs> love golf. I don't really love the golf, but this one's really clean. I like it. It's definitely a good addition to the collection. Um, and it's clean. It's clean. It ain't got no marks on it. It looks like it's got a little speck on the roof there. But what are you going to do, you know? <clears throat> um, it's 10 after 5 here. I was going to start working on this, but I think we're going to be eating dinner soon. Um... So, I don't know if I want to get into a project right now. Um, hold on one second, guys. All right. The clock is ticking. 5.30 is dinner time. So we're going to start working on this. We're not going to finish it today. But we will do something. I'm going to do something over here. Eh? I'm going to plug this drill in. That's the first thing we're going to do. First thing we're going to do. What's your favorite race team livery? Oh, that's a... That's a tough one, man. Uh, quick, Jay, reach for the closest Volvo. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Who 
is to argue with a dude from Long Island. I don't know what you're talking about, Mike. I don't know what you're talking about over there. <laughs> oh, favorite race team livery. That's a tough one, man. Wow. Way to be put on the spot. Are you talking about um, a race team livery that that Hot Wheels has made or like in life in general? Because that, that can make a difference there, right? Let me know. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is drill this car out. And you guys might want to cover your ears. Let me get a paper towel. Get a little paper towel. Jay, what's your favorite juke? Um, Rapid, the one that's in the junkyard. <laughs> that's funny. So, you guys all know how to do this. In general, Porsche Martini Racing for Maple Leaf Customs. On the four, on my fourth set of wheel designs for my Pink's build, I think I finally nailed it. Okay, awesome. Full Custom is sending in an awesome, awesome concept for what he's going to do. He took a... I don't know if it's a secret because he put it on Instagram. So, um... I don't know if he wants everybody to know, though. So I'll wait for him to okay that, and then I'll tell you guys what he's doing. Or Porsche Tag Hewer Livery, okay? Um, I'd have to think about that, King Nut. Um, there's a few, man. There's a few. I know that the uh, Stevenson's is a really nice one. Uh, with that Eagle... I think it's an eagle. Stevenson's has a nice, uh, a nice race livery. Um, the uh, the the Kevin Harvick twenty nine GM Goodrich, the gray with the red and black. That was always like one of my favorite NASCAR liveries. Um, like the one of the first ones that he ran. With the gray, with the gray uh, and the black and red. Um, I know that there's a few more that I like. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. Tampa's wife's in the house. Just pop in to say hi. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Tampa's wife. Hi, have a wonderful day to you, too. <laughs> Tell Tampa we all said what's up. It's okay. It's out there. See the final result. It won't be revealed. It's in your hands. It's okay. out there to see the final result. Okay, I don't understand. Are you telling me to tell them or not? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Like the old Marlboro red and white livery on anything. Yep. But you don't see cigarette sponsors these days. That's true. Coors Light's always had a nice livery. Um, this the silver bullet. That's a cool one. Um, and that looks good on anything. That silver with the uh the mountains. Um, there was a cool, there was a couple cool, uh, kind of out of the box liveries that, that I can't really think of right now. They were kind of crazy. Um, I hear, I hear my, I hear fire trucks. Are they outside here? You guys want to see Santa? <laughs> I've seen some cool Monster Energy livery. Yeah, so like Rockstar, Monster Energy, Red Bull. Um, those are all cool. I feel like they got kind of overplayed though, you know? Like in the beginning, I loved those liveries. Um... I feel like they 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 did get a little overplayed. 
Um, but the the Monster Energy uh, Kurt Bush, the 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 all black, the the matte black with the with the monster, that thing is sick, man, for sure. Um, I like a lot of uh, Ken Block stuff. He does a lot of like weird kind of off the wall colors. Travis Pastrana actually his um he had a cool he had a cool NASCAR theme when he ran. It was like black and pink and yellow and all types of crazy colors. Just left my store at four. He made good time getting to New York. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, yo, 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 and I made a wicked cup of cocoa. <laughs> Devil's Detail Diecast, it is kind of funny that you popped in because I just started working on something that is going to be in your possession eventually. The Merry Christmas car. So now, now speak now or forever hold your peace, bro, because this is what's coming your way when I'm done with it. If not, let me know what casting you want, and I'll and I'll keep this one for myself. Um, da, 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 da. Long time of the year for martinis, hot cocoa, and Malibu rum. <laughs> Momo, eh, eh. I'm not like huge on the Momo and the. Uh, have you seen the new livery on the Hoonicorn? Yeah, that thing's cool. Should I dip out? Nah, it's not a secret. I mean, you know that I'm building you a car unless you don't want to see it. Because I already said that. No, sir, that's balls. I'm assuming that means it's good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this more liveries are clean. Yo, guys, hold on. I'm going to see where the uh, parade is at. The sand is out there somewhere. All right, Santa's on the next block. Santa's on the next block. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, so I just I just literally just drilled it out, um, Jamie. So this is what I'm gonna be working on. Um, and I mean, if you got any input as far as how you want me to build this, you can say it now too, because I had an idea in my head, but um, you know. You know how it goes, man. I want you to get what you want, you know? So, that's that. Let me get this drill out of the way, guys. SRS, what's up, all? What's up, SRS? Diecast in the house. What's up, brother? I'm um, going to have to send you another text tonight because I don't know where your address went. Don't put it in the chat. Um, I finished up your car yesterday and I want to get it in the mail for you. So, um, you told me not to show it. I'm not going to show it unless you tell me to show it. Um, but I think that you're going to be happy with that thing. It came out awesome. No, man, you do you. I won't be here for the whole chat. Plus I'd rather be surprised. Yeah, no doubt. I'm actually going to be getting off to eat dinner in a second anyway. So no big deal. Um, no big deal. Uh, the uh, what you call it? The 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 Santas are out there. So if they end up coming by within a minute or two, I'll grab the camera and I'll go out there and show you guys the parade. What's up? I was just gonna tell you at least twenty five. Twenty five minutes mm -hmm. before dinner. Yeah. Oh, we we got an extension. Yeah, not okay. Mind bringing us to the window to see the parade, Jay? Absolutely, Rapid. It's your birthday, so I will definitely do that. Um, I was going to do it anyway, but I'll just say that. There's your birthday present. I'll get you to see Santa. <laughs> uh, I can't make you sit on his lap, though. I'm sorry. So let me get rid of this. Um, So that's that. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. It looks like it's got bigger wheels in the back than in the front. Not by much. 
but we'll take this out just by doing one of these bada bing bada boom all right it's got that classic chevelle grill awesome awesome paint job i'm gonna try to well if jamie's in here i'm not gonna tell him what i'm gonna do but um clear glass is a key for for customizing you always want clear glass if you can get it and if you end up taking clear glass out of your cars for like a gas lands build take a piece of tape right on it what it is and save it because you never know when you're going to come across that car that you want to do, but it's got a red windshield and you want to paint it green, you know? So it's always good to save your glass when you take it out. Um, and then there's your basic interior. You're thinking about getting the vacuum former and making and selling all types of clear glass for cars. Not a bad idea, Pete. Not a bad idea, man. I'm sure some people would definitely buy them. Um, I thought about buying a vacuum former too. I don't know. It's a, it's quite an investment. If I ever come across one on the cheap, I definitely grab one, but, uh, just got done painting a set of cars. Sweet. Um, Steve, you don't want me to show the car, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just verifying that you don't want me to show the car, right? I just found a windshield from a Lesney Lincoln. Took a part three yesterday. Where is the? Where is it now? I hear them. They're close. Hold on, guys. Santa's coming, guys. Santa's coming. <laughs> uh, 200 bucks. Ask goes in the house. What's up, brother? Hey, Jay, just came to look. What's up? Rapid OMD. I don't mind at all. Show it. Oh, I thought you wanted to be surprised. Um, well, I'm going to make a video anyway, but if you're here right now and you want to see it, I'll show you what I did, bro. I will show you what I did. Um, it's not going to spoil it for anybody. We're already an hour in, so um, I only know of one or two people that actually watch the replays here on the lives. So um, anybody that knows what happened... SRS Diecast sent me the super treasure hunt of the 70 Chevy Chevelle. The super treasure hunt Chevy Chevelle. He didn't want anything in return. I told him straight up, I'm not taking that car from you without giving you something back, right? He said, all right, if you want to give me something, make me a custom. And so I was like, oh, done. What car do you want? He said, let me, let me get one of these, right? Let me get one of these Chevy C10 pickup trucks. SRS, you still in the chat? Are you still watching, my man? I can wait. I'm in no rush. Up to you. It's your call, bro. I got it in my hand right now. I can either put it in a box or I can show it on camera. I don't know if you want to be surprised when it gets there or not. Um, you let me know. It's your call right now. Where's Santa, Jay? He's out there. He's coming. <laughs> 200 bucks. Mike tried to tell his wife to let him get one. Santa, Jay, I need to see Santa. Yes. Steve, is that a yes you want to see it or yes you want to be surprised? <laughs> so Pete says surprise him. Make him wait. <laughs> Let's see it. Okay. It's his car. He wants to see it. I'm going to show it. So 
I started off with this 67 C10, right? You know what? Just so you can get a better view, we're going to crack this one. Cracking that bad boy, right? 67 C10, right? Nice truck. Nice, nice truck. In exchange for a super treasure hunt, I had to make sure that I did this thing justice, right? So I had this black hole set that I bought for Hewitt's Hot Wheels as a birthday present. And somebody else bought it for him. So what I did was I took the 55 gasser out. I took the 55 black hole gasser and I customized it for him and I sent it to him. I ended up keeping the set because I actually wanted it myself anyway. So, you know, the work that I did to the gasser, it all it all worked out, right? If you guys can notice what's missing here, it just so happens that the front wheels off of this Galaxy Cyclone Comet, right? And the rear wheels off the Nova match up perfectly to the C10, right? The rear wheels, the gap in the rear is the same, and then the gap in the front is the same for for that. So I took the real real riders off. My plan here was to make a truck. The dragster got wrecked the night before the race. The dragster got wrecked the night before the race, taking a hit on the street out front of the house. Right? They changed some stuff. They went out there, took a hit. Something broke in the car. It went off and hit a tree. So these guys took the tr took the shop truck that was laying around on the farm, swapped the motor and the tires out, and brought it to the track the next day. This is what we ended up with. This is the 67 C10 for SRS diecast in exchange for the super that he sent me. It's got the Hoosier drag slicks on the rear. It's got the the drag tires from the Comet on the front. I swapped out the door over here. Well, I didn't swap it out. I painted it, right? Masked it off, painted it, did my weathering technique. It's got a, a fuel cell back there. The lights are detailed. The underside is detailed. I signed it with a marker. Um, headlights and marker lights are done. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. Now, Steve, I did my weathering technique and then I sealed it. And then I went on top of that with the weathering powders. So it has extra weathering powders on top of the clear coat. Um, so the more that you handle it, and I'll give it another dusting before I pack it. But the more that you handle it, the more powder ends up wearing off, right? So if you end up just displaying it, it's going to look fine forever, right? Um, but yeah, guys, that's the, uh, that's the, the, the shop truck that was kind of lay, laying around on the farm and these guys wrecked the dragster the night before the race and they needed to, uh, to race. So they, they swapped out all the, uh, the guts of the dragster and they threw it into this shop truck. They didn't even have time to wash it. So that's the story that I had in my head when I built this thing. Um, I hope you like it, bro. I hope you like it. I hope that it's worthy of the trade that we uh that we did. And that's that's that, man. I'll be shipping this out to you Monday. Let me know if there's anything else that you need. Um and I and I'll get it I'll get it in the box. I'll get it in the box for you. All right. Um also I could send you one of these if you want to see the before and after. You let me know. That's that's the before and after shot right there, guys. Right. And this thing rolls. This thing rolls. It actually rolls perfectly. Um you can see the clearance there. It's actually set up perfect for the drag. Like the, the stance on this thing. I love it. I absolutely love the way this thing sits. So that's that, bro. I hope you like it. Are are they here? Is Santa here? 
don't know if you guys can hear. Oh, whoa, I'm bouncing into the camera. No, they're on the next block over. Santa's coming, guys. Santa's coming. <laughs> Nailed it. It will be on display for sure. Okay, cool, man. Cool. Let me know if you need me to send a display case. I have a few extras. Um, and you know what? I might be able to make a base for it. Looks sick. That thing is freaking ratted out. Yep. Portland just tied it up. Nah, da, da, da. Nitrous and a fat turbo on his sleigh. <laughs> Spot, buddy. Where? They're coming this way? Oh no! They missed us? Santa Santa might be making a detour, guys. I'm not sure. We'll know in about three minutes. What's going to happen? Oh, baby. <laughs> nice work, Jay. Appreciate that, Andrew. Uh, wait till you see my 22 lineup for Rat Rod. Nice, 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 nice. Andy, I appreciate it, man. Uh, Got to run. Mike, okay. Great work on the custom, Jay. Have a great weekend. You too, bro. I have lots and lots of supers. Easy trade for me. Okay, cool, man. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll definitely keep you in mind if I ever need another super, which I don't need any supers because I don't hunt them. I don't really see uh, the lore there, but it is what it is. A lot of people like them, you know? But I got a custom coming your way, brother. Bada bing. Bada boom. Right? So that's that. I'll put this back up on the display. I got to make a video for it. It's just going to be basically what I just did. Me showing it. I only took a couple pictures when I was uh, when I was building it because, you know, stopping to take video and stuff, it, it, it kind of takes you out of the groove sometimes. So that's that. Um, Steve, do you need this truck? I'll send it with it um, so you can see the side by side. If you want to display them together, let me know. I got a few of these, so it's not a big deal. Um, so, yeah, man. Let me see what's going on with Santa. Did they leave us? Did they, did they go the other way? time until dinner's ready. 20 minutes. <clears throat> gotta go. Gotta go, Jay. Have a nice weekend, guys. Asco, appreciate you, brother. You have a nice weekend as well. Hey, you're over there in Sweden, right? If I'm not mistaken. Remember the Volvo challenge? You ignored me 30 minutes ago. Well, it's happening again. Grab your closest Volvos. My closest Volvo, it's right here, man. It's right here, Rapid. Boom. Volvo. There you go. It's in a state, right? Amazon Estate. The Volvo P220. Amazon Estate. That's my closest Volvo to me right now. There you go. Hammer. <laughs> Happy birthday, Rapid. I just showed you the, the Volvo. I don't know about Santa because I think they went the other way. Uh, All right. um. Oh, Amanda wants to show you her Volvo. I got one. <laughs> it's pink. It is pink. That was a custom I did for her. It wasn't exactly what she was looking for, so I ended up... Uh... It's not Gaslandy enough. I wanted some guns or something. You wanted a clean Volvo. Mm -mm. I thought, eh, I don't know. I still love it. This is one of my first customs, probably like six or seven, I think. 
But yeah, there you go, Rapid. There's a pink Volvo with a little bit of wash on it. I didn't detail the headlights or nothing. I could probably go back in and do that. This was early on, man. This was like when I was still learning on how to do everything, really. You see all the brush marks there on the top. Uh, I stuck some clay in there because uh, we ended up using it when we played the Gaslands game. Um, pink Volvo. Now that's my type of ride. Wowzers. <laughs> Amazon. What a beautiful thing. The best colors it could have came in. British Racing Green. Tan interior. My favorite spec. Eddie from Simple Customs is back. Looking at the Ferrari, you've evolved immensely. Yeah, man, I appreciate that. Definitely. This was early on, but still a cool car. And, uh, you know, something that I made for Amanda. So, you know. Um, all right. Uh, Jamie, if you don't want to see any of what I'm doing, bro, now's the time. Now's the time to go, bro, because I'm going to start working on this. We are going to eat dinner in about 15 minutes. But, um... I'm going to start working on this thing real quick, show you guys a little bit of what I do. It's not going to be a lot of it because I only got 15 minutes, but um, we are going to start working on this car. So if devil's details in here and you don't want to see it, now is the time. Spoiler alert. Um, usually what I do is I'll take one of these cases and when I start a project. And I'll throw whatever I'm not working on at the time in the case, right? I don't know if I'm going to keep the wheels or not. The base can go in here. We're just going to work on the body right now. Got to go shower. Peace, everybody. Stay juking. Happy birthday, Rapid. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, brother. Boxy but good. Yeah, it's a it's a grocery getter. <laughs> <laughs> He told me not to call it a grocery getter, but, you know, I can't help myself. Um, so this is what you call a sanding block. This is what I use usually um, just to scuff it up. It's got all type of different grits on here. And I don't really pick and choose what I use. I just go at it, right? The, the, the finer stuff usually doesn't scratch the tampos as much. Um, the heavier stuff can get all the way down to bare metal, basically. So I want to keep the flames on this car. And I'm basically going to do something similar to what I did on SRS's um, C10. But I do not think that I'm going to go dragster on it. I think it's going to be more of just a uh, either a barn find or I might end up gas landing this car. Because I know Jamie is into the gas lands thing. So I might do that. I'm not sure yet. I'll uh, see how this car talks to me. You know how it is. Um, soccer van before vans were popular. Yep, soccer mom, soccer mom car rapid. <laughs> soccer mom car, man. <laughs> so I just lightly, lightly scuff it, right? You don't have to go crazy. You don't want to really take it down to bare metal because you want to keep the color, um, somewhat, you know. And if you don't hit like most of the spots then the wash doesn't stick. So, you know, it's kind of important to really get in there and do what you got to do, but just don't go, don't overdo it, you know. I'm hardly even pushing on this right now, guys. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to keep it over the paper towel. Boxy Volvo is near indestructible cars. Yeah, that's true. That is true. They built in roll cages into the sub chassis of those volvos so they say that they're the safest cars on the road but even like my dad said when we were growing up um usually volvo drivers are the worst ones on the road for that reason because they know that they have a uh, 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 the safest car ever right <laughs> i hear santa again <laughs> you have not been a volvo driver forever we have a Volvo, guys. Just, just full disclosure. <laughs> it was, it was a good deal. That's what we'll say. It was a good deal. Betty. Amanda named her Betty. It's a Volvo V50. V50. It's got a straight five-cylinder in it. 
Uh huh. It's a powerhouse. <laughs> not really. It's not bad. Not a bad car, though. It's just got electrical issues, and I think they all do. So we scuff this thing up really nice. Get the shine off of it, right? And then what I do is I'll wipe all this dust off. And you're supposed to wear a uh, dust mask when you're doing this, but, you know, just don't kick up a bunch of dust and you'll be all right, right? So that's that. I'm going to go over here. We're going to grab this thingy. Get the trusty dusty paintbrush. With, and everybody says, oh, change your water and take care of your brushes and this, that, and the other thing. All right. You know what? For Gaslands, it's overrated because... I've been doing this for for almost a year now. Well, actually, I've been customizing cars for almost two years. But um, these brushes are shot, and I don't care, and they do the job for me. So, you know, I guess it is important if you're doing, like, really clean stuff all the time. But um, I'm not. So my brushes get get mangled, and they actually perform better for me because... They, they end up perfect for, like, stippling and stuff, you know? You don't want a clean, straight brush when you need to make, like, a, a rust effect, you know? This is basically what I do. I dry it off with the towel, and then look at that. You see how that brush is shot and all frayed and all that? That's what you want. That's what you want when you're trying to make a, dust eff a rust effect, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the brown wash, right? Shake it up. Bada bing. Bada boom. Get the brush nice and nice and soaked. Get all the excess off of there on the lip. And then you go in with it. You go in with it. You coat the whole car with a wash. Don't really worry about over saturating it because I'm going to go in after this. And show you guys how I essentially make it look weathered on every step. Um, so at any point in time, I could stop and the car would look fine. Right? You want to do this kind of fast. You don't want it to dry all the way. But you also don't want it to be super wet and just come off completely. So I'm going to do this as quick as I can. Get that. Get that all on there, right? Make sure you don't miss any spots. Now, the, the, the wash starts to pool up. You see how it starts to pool up in certain areas? I don't know if you can see it. It looks like the stream is, is bogging down. But basically, you go in and you do this with the, with the paper towel. You get it off of there in the, in the heavy areas. You just blot it, right? Boom, boom, boom. You blot it, you get the excess off, and now all of a sudden, that just transformed this car in like two seconds. It already looks older, right? Without any rust or anything, it doesn't look like the car we started with. The car that we started with is somewhere. The car that we started with is right here. Can you see the difference? All right. I thought I opened more than one of these. I guess not. I'll crack another one. All right. Look at the difference. Can I get it to? Can I get it to focus? There we go. All right. I mean, it's a subtle difference, but I also haven't started my rust effect, right? And the wash hasn't dried yet. So that's just one coat of wash, too. I usually end up putting, like, three or four coats of wash on here. And um, within, within the different stages, right? So that's that. That's that. We put a wash on it. We let that dry real nice. Um, might go in with a, might go in with a, 
typhus corrosion, which is a really heavy, really heavy rust, rust effect. And if you overdo it with this, you could totally destroy what you're working on. But, you, you know, you learn what you do and you learn what not to do and, you know, you learn. That's all it's about, right? So I clean the same brush off. I end up using this for the same thing. Um, it's not exactly the best thing to do because the typhus corrosion ends up settling into the brush and really, really destroying it. But, you know, what are you going to do? Add a, bit, a little bit of this. I'm going to go down the side over here. Get that door. I'm going to add some on the bottom. Around the fender flares. All right. Boom. And then I'm immediately, immediately going to go in with this and blot it up, right? You don't want that to settle in and dry because it will destroy it. It really will destroy it. You want this to blend. You want it to look gritty, gritty and grimy, right? Maybe we'll add some back here. All right. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> I know this probably isn't the most exciting thing to watch either, guys, but, you know, it is what it is. I told you I was going to start a build, so here I am. Here I am to save the day. Santa Claus decided he wasn't going to stop by today. I don't know what's going on with that. Wanted to see Santa. And, I don't know, did the live crash? Because I don't see anybody in the chat anymore saying anything. So, you guys let me know if you're still there, <laughs> or I'm just talking in the space. Um, but there you go. There's the typhus corrosion. Right? Just a little bit. Just a little bit of, of subtle difference, right? So, now we put that on there. I go back in. Back in with the wash. Back in with the wash. You make sure you get all the typhus corrosion off, right? You, you got to really, I mean, and my water should be clear, but it's not. But it doesn't matter. You just need to get the, the water out of it, right? And you can go in with that and leave it on there if you want to, like, pull up some dirt in a certain area, right? Because afterwards, I'm going to end up coming over this with a different color anyway. So it's not for the color. It's more for the texture, right? Um, but for the meantime, I'm going to go back in with this wash. And we're going to kind of blend it, you know. We're going to blend in a little bit more of that. Get it right into the cracks. This is kind of like panel liner, I guess, but different. Um, I don't have panel liner. I should probably get some. But it settles into those cracks between the doors and stuff, you know. Um, so it's really it's really a helpful a helpful thing to do. And I might overdo it sometimes, but you know what? Um, people people tell me that they like my work, so you know it's a lot of the stuff you gotta have to kind of see the vision before you get there, kind of thing. You know, you might think that you're destroying a project, but you have to break it down to build it up. You know. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking to myself too. <clears throat> so I go back in with this, right? Blend it all together. Give it a nice, give it a nice base, and then I go back over the whole car. Boom, right? Boom, boom, boom. Pick up all those extra pooled spots because you don't want it to pool really. And then look. Guys, how long have we been doing this? Ten minutes, not even. And I think that, I think that honestly, this is a passable finished product if I wanted to make it that. But I'm not going to. I'm obviously going to keep going with this. Um, right? Look at that. I think that's pretty good, man. Like, for ten minutes with two products, like. 
anybody can do this, man. Everybody's like, oh, your your work is really good. And da, 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 da. You know what? It's just practice. It's finding the techniques that work for you and figuring it out, simplifying it, right? So. Uh, okay. Don't interrupt. Master at work. <laughs> Nah, man, I'm not a master. I just figured out what works for me, you know. I appreciate the words, though. Nice touches there, Jay. Looks like distressed metal already. Be rude to burp in his general direction. <laughs> How much do you charge for a garage find 69 Camaro? Now, 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 Pete, you know. You know better than that, my man. You know better than that. I'll get you on the list, brother. Um... It's gonna be a little bit though. I can't. I can't promise anything right now. The 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 uh, the holidays are here. You know how it is, right? Um, but I can get you. I can get you on the list um, for early next year for sure. I'm not gonna charge you anything, Pete. You know. You know. You know. I don't sell my stuff and. Uh, That being said, just send me an email. Let me know what um let me know what if there's a certain uh livery that you like because this is a lot easier to for me to just do the the original paint, right? Than having to go outside and paint and all that. I did just get an airbrush, but I didn't use it enough to really feel confident in uh in making somebody else a custom with it, right? So um just send me an email bro i'll give you my phone number we can get on the phone and um and we'll talk that way you know it's a lot easier right maybe a trade i heard you got something coming for a little birdie from a little birdie um yeah nah man absolutely i'm gonna i'll, I'll make you a car for sure for sure pete um i also have a build off coming guys that i haven't announced really um besides in the live streams you know we're having twins we're having twin girls, so there's going to be a double trouble build off that I'm going to make a video for probably uh, this week coming up. Maybe even try to get it out tomorrow. Um, and you interpret that the way that you want to, whether it's two cars, whether it's uh, a car with two motors or double uh, wheels in the back or whatever. Right. Um, so that's going to be cool. There's also the pink slips challenge for the racing deal. For the dice roll racing deal, um, we have three cars here right now. Um, King Nuts is in the mail, so that's four. I have 15 people signed up, and I think it's actually up to 18 now after all the uh, additions have been made. Um, so, so that's going to be really exciting, man. And a lot of people are are interested in in. In doing that, I think it's more for the commentary and for um, uh, bragging rights to be able to talk smack to somebody because I know Jim Silva and those guys are already going at it. Diecast, Outcast, he's got a car coming in. Um, Outlaw Speed Shop is building a car. Full full custom Diecast Garage, he's got a, an awesome, awesome build that he's working on. Um, Charles Diecast Garage built a van. He's he's sending in a van, and I gotta put the vote out. I gotta put the jury out on this, guys. Amanda wants to enter the pink slip competition. I need to make sure that the community is is okay with that. Being that there is pink slips up for stakes, right? Um, she would get no special treatment. It'll be one of her customs, and um. She'll be treated just like everybody else with the pink slips tournament. Um, you guys let me know what what you think about that. Um, I don't have an issue with it, but I don't want people to say, oh, well, you know, you cheated because that's your girl and she took all the cars. <laughs> you know, um, I mean, you got the same odds as everybody else. Yeah, I never went up in anyway. but, you know. No, I mean, that's, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Um, I'll probably make another video uh, about that, you know, just to see what people think. But 
Um, you are you already got something in the works for you guys. Awesome, Pete. You're a great guy, man. You really are. Um, this is going to be the most important build off that I've ever hosted, and probably the last one for a long time. Um, I've made it known that. Um, uh oh, the voice of she who must be obeyed in the background. <laughs> Put her in, let her race, Dane says. All right, all right. That's what's. I think that's a one and a half votes to let her race. <laughs> um, I've made it known that that after the babies come, uh, this this channel is gonna be dark for a while. You know. So I appreciate everybody that's been here since the start and keeps going on. And I know it makes you sad. I Stop, stop, saying, stop that. saying that. I'm live right now, and I'm letting these guys know what's going to happen. Not only do we have two kids coming, but we have to move. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I'm going to have a place to work on stuff and all that. So full disclosure is out. Like, I'm telling you guys right now, come April, May, I'm cutting, I'm cutting down big time on everything that's that's gonna happen here you know okay i love you i'll be there in there in a minute uh full custom says put her in bud terrible twos with two girls proud of you guys but sad for jay at the same time <laughs> appreciate you pete pete send me an email man um send me your phone number man we'll get on the phone tomorrow or something and uh you know just shoot the shoot the shi double uh, whatever you call it right Shoot the shit. I said it. Um, guys, dinner's done. So that's going to call it today here at JDC. This is what we worked on. This is going to be going to Devil's Detail Diecast when it's finished. It is far from finished. Um, but I hope some of you took some value from the little tips I just gave you on the painting and stuff like that. Um, Pink Slips is coming. It's going to be awesome. Double Trouble's coming. That's going to be super awesome. And uh, make sure you guys smash the like button on the way out. Not like it matters. We don't got a thousand people in here. But, you know, what are you going to do? No worries, Jay. Take care and stay safe. I appreciate you, Andy. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for stopping by. Naruto Wolf. Yo, can't stay long. Well, it's a good thing because we're actually wrapping up. Dinner's on the table, brother. <laughs> Uh, big congrats on the Bambinos. Thanks, Pete. I appreciate you, man. Um, so that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Holiday season's coming. Be safe. Enjoy your family. Um, and, and don't take anything for granted because nothing's a given, right? But, um, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I appreciate everybody stopping by and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.